All right, so this video is to teach you how to get to Math Excel. So if a teacher tells you to do an assignment on Math Excel, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our Y115 bookmarks. Now, if you're used to Math Excel from the past, it used to be called um, Pearson Easy Bridge, but now the link that we're going to go to our bookmarks here, um, they changed the name of it, right? So it's Savas Easy Bridge. Um, so if we go there, it's going to send you to a spot where you're going to have to log in. Um, your login, since I've logged in previously um, in the past, my it didn't ask me for my login, but for your login, it's the exact same as your Chromebook. So whatever you would type in for your Chromebook is what you're gonna type in to get to this page. Now, um, because I'm doing this a few days before the school year starts, my current class is here is empty. However, by the time you're watching this episode or this um, video, you should have a class here. So it's going to look something like this, future classes, because I'm um, doing this a few days ago. Um, now, you won't have all of these classes. That's just because I'm a teacher. All of my classes are showing up. Okay, so let's say you are in pre-calc period one. You would only see this pre-calc period one show up. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this little arrow. And then right below it shows a math Excel. Okay, so you have to press the arrow and then math Excel. If you're in geometry, yours would say geometry. You would press the arrow, you would click math Excel. Whatever class you're in will show up and you'll only have one of them. It's just because I'm the teacher, all of these are showing up. So when I click on that link there, it brings me to the math Excel page. Now, one thing I want to point out is if we're in this page, what a lot of people do is make a mistake is they see this over here. It says Math Excel. And they're like, oh, that's what I want. If you go there, that's going to bring you to the Math Excel page, but not your teacher's page. So you'll be able to go to Math Excel, but you won't see the assignment your teacher made. In order to see the assignment for your class, you have to click um, the Math Excel under your class. Okay, so that brings you to here. Now, quick little run through. Yours won't have this instructor, instructor area. This is just for me because I'm the teacher. So yours would show all of these. The biggest thing that you'll want to go to is homework and tests as well as results. Okay, so those will be the two things that you'll want to go to. Results will be your scores. Homework and tests is where you'll find any homework assignments um, that your teacher has put, right? So you'll under assignments, you would have all assignments, and then the assignments would show up. Um, now, because I'm having this show up later, it's not showing up that there's any yet, but for example, I have already made all of these, and on the day that they're assigned, it will show up to yours under this homework and tests. So it'll look very similar to this, but you won't have this actions button because that's for the teacher. So it'll look like this on August the 20th, this assignment will show up. It tells you when it's due. Okay, and that will look like here. Now, to give you an idea of what it looks like, if I go to preview here, this is what it will look like for a student. You would just press start homework, but to give you a preview of what it'll look like, it'll give you the problem, and then you would type in the answer here, and you would press check answer, and then you would move on. If you got the answer wrong, so let's say I just put in the answer a six and I say check answer, it's going to say incorrect and it gives you a little clue. Um, if it's correct, then it will say correct and you can move on to the next question. Let's say you're getting kind of stuck, you don't understand what you're doing wrong. There's this question help button off to the side. So you can go to question help, you can do help me solve this or view an example. So if we go to view an example, it gives you an example that's very similar to this example. It tells us A and B is these numbers. Then you press continue and it says, okay, now we would do this. Continue, now with our numbers, that gives us a hypotenuse of 30. Continue, et cetera. And it kind of lays everything out for you until you get to the very end. And then you would press close and then you would complete the problem. So if you're having if you're struggling, then you're welcome to go to these to get a little bit of extra help. When you're done, you would press save. Are you sure you want to continue without checking your answers? Yes, I do. So we would say yes, and we would submit. Then when you submit under results, 
it would show up here telling you how you did. If you have any other questions about how to navigate Math Excel, please contact your teacher.